Good evening, Commissioners. My name is Jody Riddleberger, and I am a Guilford County resident. <clears throat> I contacted your clerk's office on November 4th and tried to find out what the policies, procedures, and rules were for being added to your agenda. I did get a kind response, but my questions were not answered. I contacted your clerk's office again on November 21st and asked to be put on your December 1st agenda in order to show a short video and request that you revisit the work session vote regarding the multimedia ban. This is the response I received from your clerk's office. Mrs. Riddleberger, the staff met this morning with the chairman to set the agenda for the December 1st meeting and the chairman considered your request to add your video presentation to the agenda. At this time, he has decided against the request to add the presentation to the December 1st agenda. I found this interesting, considering the fact that at your November 3rd work session, the chairman assured you not once, but twice, that anyone who wanted to show a video on county business just needed to contact the county and they would be added to the agenda. And I have the videotape right here. So I'm here to ask why I'm being discriminated against. Why am I not allowed on the agenda when the library folks and the puppy mill folks are more than welcome? That's what this video shows. And I'd like for you to play it here tonight. It's only four minutes long. I'd like to request this board revisit the issue of the multimedia ban. The public deserves to see their elected representatives openly discuss things like freedom of speech. The people have a right to know that some on this board say one thing and do another, especially when it involves quieting a growing voice of dissenting citizenry. I'm asking those of you on this board who do not believe in discrimination, but who do believe in healthy and televised debate to please revisit this issue. The public has a right to know when their chairman says one thing and does another, they have a right to see it with their own eyes. Your constituents are watching to see if you'll protect them by protecting me from this heavy-handed abuse of power. Thank you. Thank you.